Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday the 24th of August and today Mojang has released a new Minecraft snapshot called 15W35A which had a bunch of cool changes in it but also broke zombie AI so they followed it up with 15W35B. In short, the snapshot contains a rebalancing of the weapon stats that were introduced in the previous snapshots. New textures for villager zombies, new attribute modifiers, new command block features, and optimizations and bug fixes. Do you want to know more? Let's go! The weapons have been rebalanced so that this is the new layout. Shovels now have less attack damage than they did before, Pickaxes have less attack speed than they did before, sword remain exactly the same, axes slight down attack damage but increased attack speed. Hoes now act in a very different way, they have one attack damage but increase one attack speed per tier instead of attack damage. So a wood hoe is one attack speed but a diamond hoe is four attack speed. It's also clear that Mojang considered the unbreaking nature of hoes to be a bug. They've now fixed it so hoes also take durability damage when used to strike mobs. Items with attribute modifiers can now have a slot and they should have a slot. What that means is that an item will only apply the attribute modifiers when held or worn in that slot. For instance, if I give this stick a health modifier in a slot of main hand, it will only give me that effect when held in the main hand. There are a few changes to zombies. Zombie villagers now retain their profession when they become infected with the zombie plague. What that means is that there are now five different types of zombie villagers. Of course, if you just spawn one, you get a random type. And if you cure that, you get a villager of the corresponding type. There's also a bug fix to zombies in that baby zombies now have an appropriately small hitbox. Command blocks have changed again in this snapshot and what Sarge says is now the last change for the time being in these snapshots. This time the conditional tag has disappeared out of the command block NBT data and been replaced with an entirely new block state. And the reason that's happened is that we now have different textures for conditional and unconditional blocks. You can see the arrow on the sides of these blocks are now more pointed when the block is in conditional mode and this goes for all three types. There is also a new button that I think every single command blocker who has tried out these snapshots have asked for and that is a toggle between needs redstone and always active, controlling whether the block needs a redstone power signal in order to execute. Now while the conditional tag's disappearance means that we can no longer execute a block remotely by just setting the conditional tag, we now have this new tag instead. It's called auto. And if you set the auto tag, the block will act as always powered. In the case of a chain block, that means it always executes once it gets a signal. In case of an impulse block, it means it will execute once and then never again. And in the case of a repeating block, it will start executing every tick. Finally, there are more bug fixes and optimizations. The network protocol has been optimized and they've found some old memory leaks in the client and fixed them. Which means that especially on computers with limited amounts of memory, Minecraft should now run more smoothly. They've also fixed some bugs with empty chunks duplicating themselves causing havoc in worlds, as well as some problems with duplicate UUIDs causing weird behavior and the blocks facing the wrong way while in an item frame. As usual, this is a snapshot and the snapshots are expected to be somewhat broken and even dangerous to use, as evident from the previous one. If you try it out, then do so on a backup of your world or on a separate test world. To try out the snapshot, go into your Minecraft launcher, create a new profile and check the Enable Experimental Development Versions Snapshots checkbox. Save and start Minecraft using that profile in order to play the latest snapshot, which is currently this one, 15W35B. As always, thank you for watching and please do leave a like on the video if you found it helpful. If you're wondering about the changes that came before this snapshot, for the combat update Minecraft 1.9, then click the link to the Minecraft news playlist that is on your screen right now. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for joining me, and goodbye.